All in my mess. Didn't really want to get out of the camp to the mill. He said I missed no. I hate the gas. Skirt! Hennessy on my lips. Take a little sip. Privacy on the door. I'ma make this shit grip. Yeah, I don't even remember the words right now. It's your girl, this the doll, back at it again with yet another video. Today, we will be doing... <laughs> DIY! I just wanna say, before we start, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who watched, liked, commented on my first video. You guys really, Y'all show out. Okay. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I created this tie-dye safety pin shirt. It's really trendy and a lot of people have been posting them on social media. So I was like, hey, why not? Cause girls, I don't want y'all to go spend y'all money on buying this from anyone because you can make it at home. Okay, so if you guys would like to see how to make this cute little tea, follow me. Everything came from Walmart. And so here, as y'all can see, I'm just taking out my t-shirt and just show, going to show you guys. It's just a regular white beater. And I got it from Walmart out of the um, little boy section in an extra, extra large. And I honestly could have got an extra large because it wasn't as tight fitting as I would want it, but it still turned out okay. So here I'm just gonna cut it in half, not cut it in half, cut it off because I want it to be like a crop top. So I'm just gonna cut it and now y'all see what it looks like. So now we're gonna take our tie dye and we're gonna begin to take them out. And yeah, make sure y'all read the directions. So here you guys can see I'm just placing on my protective gloves and I'm going to begin taking my rubber bands and just placing them on the shirt in various different places. Like I want the shirt to look like really funky like. So I really just did whatever. Like it was no, was no particular way to do it. You just make it your own. Okay, now that I have all of the rubber bands on there that I want, I'm finishing up. I'm going to take my tie-dye and I'm going to begin applying it. One thing I can say, if you have a darker color, that you should use that darker color first. Because I started off with my light blue color, but I feel like once I put the darker color over it, it kind of took that color out. If y'all get what I'm saying. But then again, it kind of blended them together, so it all kind of turned out cute. So, you know, it's just really a process. It's really about what you're going for and what you want your shirt to look like. But there's really no wrong you can do with it. Like, it's tie-dye. It's whatever you want to do.
right, y'all, we are done tie dyeing this shirt. So we're gonna take a plastic bag and we're gonna sit it in there and let that sit for 24 hours. So it is the next day and I have washed and dried the shirt. And that is the result that it came out with. Kind of cute, okay. So now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit more because I tried on the shirt and I want it to be cropped just a little bit more. So I cut not even like an inch, I don't even think. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, so now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm going to begin fraying the bottom of the shirt because I wanted to have like a edgy type, distress type look to it. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and as you can see, I'm just kind of like stretching the fabric, like tethering it. Um, I don't really know <laughs> what I'm doing, but yeah. So I'm just fraying it. Continuing to fray it till I get it to my liking. Because you know, when you put it in a washing machine and dryer, it's gonna fray some more whenever you do decide to wash your shirt again. Which I would hope would be after you wear it your first time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just continuing to fray it to my liking. And I just wanted to show you guys what it was looking like. Y'all could see that. Now I'm gonna begin applying my safety pins. And me, I personally, I just wanted to kind of do something different with them. Like instead of the kind of S cut or straight down the middle, I wanted to try to do something different with them, see how it turned out. So I just began applying them at the bottom like a bunch of safety pins like going across the bottom of the shirt but like i said you can make it your own you can do whatever you want to do you can do the straight down the middle the s cut you can really do anything so i'm on the back it's really 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 simple y'all i promise so i'm just gonna apply those bobby pins not bobby pins safety pins i'm just gonna apply those safety pins and yeah Okay, so I applied the safety pins all at the bottom. You can see, and I kind of did a little slit in the shirt and put some safety pins right there, if you all can see that as well. So now I'm gonna go up to like my straps, like, yeah, where my bra strap would be. And I'm gonna cut slits in there and I'm gonna begin to safety pin it as well. So as y'all can see, I made like a little hole and that's where I'm gonna safety pin it. And I'm gonna put four safety pins in there and just spread them out like evenly. And yeah.
Okay, so as y'all can see, we doing a little some some. You know what I'm saying? We got a little some some going on for ourselves. So we had that. So I went and tried that on to see what it was looking like. Was I liking it? You know what I mean? It's okay. It's okay. We finna see. We finna see. We finna see. When it's all done, what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna do that to the other side, and we're gonna create a slit and that side as well and we're going to begin to safety pin it with the four safety pins on that side as well yeah i know that i am a terrible explainer but y'all please bear with me bear with me okay Okay, so now we are done safety pinning everything. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, the shirt's still missing something. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut me like a little cleavage slit. You know? Hmm. For the top tops. So I'm going to cut me a little triangle. And I'm gonna begin to fray that as well. And you wanna make sure that the back of the shirt, like you kinda of like put just the front of the shirt on the table so that you won't put any holes in the back of your shirt while you're fraying it. And after we are done putting the frays in our shirt, y'all, that is it. Like, super quick, super simple, super easy. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like. One. Comment. Two. Subscribe. Three. And turn on my post notifications for four. Okay? Because y'all do not want to miss these videos that is coming for y'all. I got them. On deck. We here. We here to stay. Let's do it. Thank y'all.